neck before a shoot yet again. And I gotta be honest, I've let things kind of go quite a bit between the box truck and the trailer have not been working that often the last obviously however many months it's been such a weird schedule for people but this week we have some stuff so <laughs> the trailer was actually out of registration for a little while so i finally got that figured out and i've gone through a couple different variations of how i've redone some of the carts and some of these things were temporary you know two years ago and still haven't <laughs> still haven't made them permanent um but yeah just trying to make it more efficient um trying to take inventory of stuff that's gone needs repairs like i have i have like three out of my six rainbow tubes like uh, the quasars are dead so i gotta send those back um so today right now what we're doing i'm trying to add another little cart trying to replace some stuff i don't know i'm taking these uh stand hangers off this shelf so i can slide the cart all the way back into the depths here so that i can have a little more room um towards the front but yeah there used to be shelves there i took them out because actually they broke so somebody loaded a cart and ended up slammed it into one of the legs and it's sitting over there by the garage which i need to clean up i've got like i'm like white trash central over there right now with everything that's out in the driveway so yeah got a little bit of work in front of us my super flags box needs a little bit of help yeah everything but you know keep keep on keeping on so this is the gopro 9 and so far it's i like it it's pretty chunky i like how the battery lasts longer i like how the front screen is amazing you finally but the touch screen hopefully it's just a software thing the touch screen is awful it's been 10 minutes trying to do stuff. Okay, let's see if the sucker will fit back here. Here we go. Boom, okay. So that's gonna give me a bit more uh, space to move stuff around. So I have to figure out where to put these beefy baby stands. These are kind of my backup when I run out of the ones in the front of the trailer. So maybe I'll hang them over here at the combo stands or something. But maybe I can figure that out another day. Maybe I can just stack them up and line them up. Okay, let's figure out. Okay, so here's a question. So usually you set up the, the carts like electric cart. Sometimes you have like a, you used to have like a full on Kino cart. Then you have like um, your grip cart, taco cart, diffusions, whatever, four by, especially on a smaller rig. But uh, you know, you gotta kind of have to mix things in. So right now, this is kind of my electric cart. And this was kind of my grip cart, but it turned into also holding a lot of like the, uh, the Astras and the, the aperture lights. And then on top is some of the uh, two Kinos and, or uh, Quasars and stuff. So, um, you can't really see it, but over here, we have the Geminis and the Boxers. Obviously, C stands, that's supposed to go in the van, and the Punch Plus, and a couple of Stinger crates. So it's kind of a hodgepodge right now. So we need to really kind of reassess all this. Plus, I don't have any rhyme or reason to my rags right now. In fact, I have to make sure I have one of my 12 buys here, or I have to go get it off the truck, which is parked <sighs> my parents' property because they made a new law that you can't park trailers on the street. So I had to move my trailer off the street and the, and the side of my house and the truck, which gets used less by me every day, is over at my parents' property. Ta-da! <clears throat> okay. Here's how we landed right now. So, this is kind of a hodgepodge right now, although it's got Astra's uh, 120D snap bag for the Astra's. 
I'm down, I think I should have five of these and I'm down three, it's really bad. Um, and then under here we just have like a, uh, the light dome, uh, falcon eyes, light mat. And I just threw some flags on there because they were kind of banging around beforehand. I got a very good, a good kind of like slot for the 24 by 18 flags. All right, so this now is all just grip stuff. So I have my apple boxes, nesting apple boxes, um, uh, expendable stuff, uh, this some gel cuts and some diffusion, and then we have like big lollipops and stuff, and then other grip accessories, which you can get to kind of through the top here. So this isn't the greatest setup right now. Um, we have gel rolls. I also have a Westcott six by right there. And then we have our rags. So we have eight by stuff, six by stuff. This actually is more eight by stuff should be over there. Um, then we have our city foil and ratchet straps. I need to get some more thin crates, which are hard to find. And then just kind of, this is kind of random like rope, tennis balls for stands and stuff and some kind of random kino mat things. All right, so this is electric slash lights again. So now we have all of our four by tubes up here and then we have this is empty I gotta figure out what I need to put in here so I have flex lights um, this is gonna be I have a ton of cube taps somewhere but there's only a few of them in there right now um, and then we have the uh, a couple little fresnels so the paint TV fresnels aperture panels uh, and another flexi panel the waterproof one nothing in that right now <laughs> Um, this is, this should probably be like short stingers and then I have two stinger crates. Now the problem is right now, uh, is that this, this, so this is a custom crate, uh, what's it called? C cart. And I made it a little bit thinner so that it would fit the, the center channel would fit a little bit wider carts. And the problem is, is that the crates, you, you can run them. Uh, nose in but then they stick out a little bit which then interferes with the channel if you run them flat like this they kind of slide around and uh, obviously you have to fit less of them on the shelf so the best thing to do is to go small uh, regular size crate and then skinny crate so it's a weird setup but it's, it's kind of works and then we got some lighter weight stands on the front this I like to put somewhere else but can't find a good spot for it right now. And then four by cart, gel rolls, combo stands. Don't pay attention to that. That's a mess right now. This needs to be actual mounting stuff, but it's not right now. All right, so that should, in theory, leave room for our. Um, let's see if it'll stay up now. Okay. So I still got to fit these things in here, which I'm not excited about, but this is the Gemini's, the boxer lights. This is kind of a, I'd like to pack this cart a little bit nicer. Same thing with this. This needs to be changed up because right now it's one of my oldest carts and it's wiggly and has issues, but I have the big 600 watt LED with some stingers and some stingers. I think I can, can almost consolidate the Ast or sorry, the Gemini cart and this cart almost. The problem is once you get that much weight on it, it starts to get really dodgy. But I think for now, for tomorrow, I'll be able to fit this stuff on better than it was kind of before. And then I get to go to bed. Let's see how they fit. Oh, and I have, so that, my monitor cart needs to go in the van, but right now I've got a bunch, I've got three of these um, Image 80s in the van. And they are obviously big. So they're kind of taking up the spot in the van. So I was going to see if I could put, take them out of the van, put them in the trailer, but then they just kind of are hanging out on the floor. So I don't know. I don't know. I also have some of these like Kino Flow. Um, it's not a pair beam, but it's basically a pair beam. Uh, and we're doing some green screen stuff tomorrow where there's a lot of uh, cars. So you have tinted windows. And so you want to spread a bunch of light out on the green screen. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, here's how it ended up for now. This will go in the van eventually. That's not always here, but I just kind of crammed it all in 
on that second cart. And I have three of the pair beams on there just as backup for the green screen tomorrow. But there we go, it all packs in more or less. And I didn't have to change anything in the van right now. Let's close it up and go to bed. Yeehaw.